Hello everybody, uh, sorry about a little technical difficulty there to start it all out. Uh, but it's me, Cullen, here with another shave. Tonight I will be using Ariana and Evans, the Club Signature Soap. Um, to me, this soap smells like um, a root beer float. Uh, that's what it smells like to me. Um, and also I have the Splishity Splash. Um, razor tonight is the um, I don't know. I got this on a, a live sale with Yaki and they just called this the Rocket Razor. Um, but I believe this head is the S1X. Uh, which I always thought was a six, but Yaki yeah, says it's the S1X. It's a half DE blade. It looks very similar to the Katana, but they claim that the S1X is different, but it looks exactly the same, but who knows? Um, so I don't know if that is the S1X or the Katana or what. Um, and I'm using the Captain's Choice Bowl, and I'm using my new to me TDR um, brush. Um, I'm the first owner of it, just got it from Rob. Um, good lather as usual from A&E. Add some water and let's Get on with it. It's pretty late at night. I've had a long day at the VA. Um, had some doctor's appointments. Met today with um, Pete Hendricks of Hendricks Classic and Co. over some uh, collaboration work we have going. Very excited for that. Well, let me tell you, first of all, it feels exactly like the Katana, um, overly aggressive. Um, and this is not a head that you want on a super light handle like this. So this is a very bad pairing. Um, so what we are going to do is we're going to go, meh, 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 abandon ship, and we're going to kill this shave, and we are going to switch over to my English, um, Gillette Rocket HD 500. which uh, I've never been a big fan of uh, how vintage Gillette's shave because they're so mild. Um,
but for whatever reason the uh made in england ones were always a lot more blade feeling uh, been trying to get my hands on a made in england red tip um but um, can't ever find one. And this knot on here is a synthetic knot. Don't know if I mentioned that. And actually, um, it doesn't feel bad to scrub. It has a ton of backbone. But when you scrub with it, it doesn't feel um, like plastic. I don't know what this knot is. Um, I got this from Rob. Um, he was selling it on the BST $20. He said he's had this um, brand new handle um, sitting there forever and it never sold. Um, and so he put it on the BST uh, and it sat there. And so I got a couple of sets from him for a killer deal. And he had this on there for $20. And I don't have any TDR brushes or chisel and hound. And so uh, I jumped at that one. I forgot how uh, I think that this uh, English uh, rocket um, the HD 500 um, Probably it feels about the same as the uh, American red tip. But yeah, this soap, to me, um, it's kind of funny. It smells like, um, a root beer float. Um, that has melted. Reminds me of when I was a kid and we'd go visit um, my dad's uh, mother and his family um, in, I guess it was Michigan. Um, but they had A and W stores up there, and we used to go and get uh, hot dogs and stuff. 
from there, but um, we get the A and W root beer floats. Um, and the blade I threw in this was the uh, Gillette Sputnik that had two uses, so now this is three. And it's still just as smooth and sharp. Um, now if I put it in a more aggressive razor, I don't know if it would feel as smooth. But that's that for that. Um, so the aluminum um, yaki thing with the uh, pop metal top was an epic fail. Let me get all this cleaned up and I'll be back. Let's go over what we used tonight because we had a little changey changey of plans there. We had the El Capitan's Choice cover bowl. We use the Gillette Rocket HD 500 made in England. Most excellent shaver. We use the That Darn Rob brush with a synthetic knot. And then we used Ariana and Evans, the club signature, um, which to me smells like a melted root beer float. And then we are going to finish it off with some Splishity Splash. That's still got the tape on it. So I guess we need to take that off there. No more tape. Pop that seal. Uh, take the plastic. Um, I don't know. Maybe my nose broke, um, but the splash, um, to me, doesn't smell like the soap. Um, 
I don't know. It's weird. I don't know how to describe the scent of it. Um, to me, it's kind of a synthetic-y, plastic-y smell. Um, I don't know. Apparently, that's something with my nose right now. Because, um, you know, it's got to smell the same as the soap. Um, sorry, something in my eye all of a sudden. Because that's one thing about... Peter is it yeah the soap the splash smells it's kind of like have you ever got something and the instructions say like shake well on it And you just kind of half effort shake it and it's not quite the way it's supposed to be. And then the next time you actually give it an effort and shake it well and it comes out proper and you're like, oh, um, that's the way this is. It's like it's... Um, To me, it's like it's missing something. Um, yeah, to me, it smells nowhere like the soap, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's just my nose right now, but uh, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's shave, we have um, Badass from Hendrix Classic & Co., um, which I'm excited to use. Um, and that soap um, is filled to the rim. And so we'll be using that tomorrow with tomorrow's razor. Tomorrow, tomorrow tomorrow what is tomorrow 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 tomorrow's razor is the rod george carve with the open comb d plate so that's what we have tomorrow to look forward to along with badass and so I'll have to find a brush um, that matches the label. I got many that match the name of the soap, um, at least in my opinion. But we'll see you tomorrow. I'm rambling like usual. Um, thank you for joining me for another Plagic Shave. Um, until tomorrow, take care, be safe, and most importantly, God bless.